do this quick video on how to make Justin Rhodes Magic Chicken Water. It's super, super easy. For one gallon of water, you are going to need two tablespoons of raw apple cider vinegar, half a cup of raw honey, and then one or two garlic cloves smashed up. I use my garlic smasher. It's so easy. I have a um, big bucket here because I'm gonna make a whole bunch today. Um, I like to make it up ahead of time, um, maybe a day or two ahead of time, and that way um, when I go out to check the chicken's water, I just have it there ready to make it. Uh, 75 birds, when they're little, um, they'll go through about a gallon, two gallons a day. Um, now they are, let's see, they're a week old, and 75 birds, 80 birds are going through about four gallons a day. Is that right? Well, two to four gallons. It's confusing because I have them in two separate brooders and I feel like we're always topping it off. But um, they're, they're starting to put down the feed and the water like quickly. Um, and hopefully um, at the end of two weeks, I stop making the magic water and just put them on straight water. I'll make another quick video on how to keep baby chickens alive. Um, some lessons learned and um, some things that we do. Um, you gotta see if it'll work for you. Um, so anyways, I've got some warm water in here and I'm just gonna add some honey in and it'll kind of melt. I'll have to stir it. Like I said, I'm gonna be making a lot. I'm making about three, three gallons worth and then I'll make another three gallons worth. And I don't measure anymore. And it's funny, like, uh, this is leftover garlic from our garden last year, so this is like the perfect time um, to kind of use it up because it's getting a little bit old. And I love it. It's like recycling or reusing or not letting anything go to waste. Um, I like doing this in a bigger vat. I have a gallon um, jugs, you know, with the little, the little small cap. Um, it's really hard to get the garlic in there without making a mess all over the sides and stuff. So this is what I do. I do this every few days while they're little. Um, meat chickens, they're, they're a little bit of work. They're not um, chore free of pigs. I mean, we have to go set their paddocks up every week, but um, it's a quick quick daily chore. Like we just kind of go check on them and they're pretty self-sufficient. We can give them lots of food and water at once. But meat chicken, well, it's a little more labor intensive, but it's only eight weeks of chores instead of eight months. So that's what I do. And then um, I will add cold water once I get the honey and everything kind of incorporated in. And I will make sure that um, it's cooled down before I give it to the chickens. And they are doing so good. We've lost one randomly out of this batch. And I say randomly, I know what caused it. I think it got smashed under a heat plate. It wasn't super cold or anything. I think it just got suffocated in there. So, um, I don't. I don't necessarily think it had anything to do with, um, you know, being sick or a parasite or anything like that. So that is it. It smells like garlic vinegar and honey. It's delicious. It smells like healthy chickens. to fill these up and get these out to the barn so they'll be ready for the chickens um, later tonight. We've already topped off their water this morning. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Justin Rhodes Magic Chicken Water. Here's the recipe again. 
super easy. Like so easy. And I'll put it in the link below. Um, I just highly recommend this. I, I know it's a lot of work for two weeks and you're gonna make gallons and gallons of it if you have a lot of birds, but I think it has boosted their little immune systems and they're just so healthy and vibrant and they're just doing amazing. So I gotta separate this in. So thanks for watching. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.